In this video we do the final check round on this cast resin transformer before it's energized for the first time. The secondary side of the transformer is connected to this new switchboard. It has been fully tested but we're just going to do a final check on the buzz bars down to earth to make sure this board is clear. For this we decide to access the buzz bars by going into the surge protection cubicle. We remove all the instrument connections across the buzz bars and open the auxiliary supplies just to make sure the buzz bars are totally clear of any connections. On the surge protection device we connect to the earth position and then we can connect here on this isolator and do an insulation resistance test each phase down to earth. To start with we apply a low voltage 250 volts so the metro will read up to 200 mega ohms. Once that's done, we then apply it up to a thousand volts. And this can give us a higher reading of insulation resistance. So we're looking for an excess of 999 mega ohms on each phase, which it is. So once we're happy with the board, we then proceed to do the final visual check of the transformer. This is the HV side showing the primary voltage is 3.3. For the tapping we want. There's no tap changing device on this, they are links you put into certain positions depending on the voltage being applied. So we just check that finally and this is the LV side 690 volt, three phase and neutral. Once we're happy with that we then lock it all up and proceed to the substation. Remove the isolation on the MV switch gear. This is 11 kV switch gear, but we're operating the system at 3.3 kV. First, we have to put the truck into the test position. Lock it into position and remove the carriage. Then connect the umbilical cable at the top and close the door. Next, we rack the breaker into the service position. This moves the vacuum circuit breaker back into the housing and engages on the buzz bar and circuit connections. Finally move it to the fully on position and the breaker is now ready for service. We're going to do this by remote control on the DCS system. You can see on the display the buzz bar VT is reading just under 3400 volts. Circuit breaker is open. It's closed up now. We set the current pickups and it shows the breakers closed. The LV side switchboard is showing each phase down to earth at 400 volts. So we've got 690 volts on the system. If you found this of interest, if you did, please subscribe.